Hi, hello everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. We are back, and we've just come into one of these little uh, research facilities, stations, I guess, um, in Area Zero. So if we go back outside, will anything happen? No, we are safe. Okay, for now. <laughs> I, I almost somewhat. Oh, okay. Wait, back backstory reveal. Oh, she was always busy with work. I never came back. I came, I cooked for myself. Uh, they're so speedy. Even it, oh my gosh. I'm not even gonna bother trying to read it. Wow. <laughs> I'm not gonna read it out loud, but I'm gonna read it internally, of course. Oh my god, he doesn't even know Penny's name. <laughs> Aww. So they're getting along a bit more now. They've, they, they've, uh, you know, let their backstory out. They, they now know about Arvin's mum and how she's a terrible parent. <laughs> and it sucks because I thought I was going to really like her. I was so excited when I saw... I don't know if there's ever been another female professor professor in a game? I don't think there has been. I know in Sword and Shield, I guess, was Sonya the professor? I don't know. I don't really think that counted. Oh no, I guess I guess her grandma was the, the actual professor. I don't know. But I don't know. I just feel like the, the professors in this game seemed so unique and so cool. I was so excited to, to get to know them, but I guess in either version, like in the uh, Violet version, then that's Arvin's dad, maybe? Um, because the one in Violet is, is a man. <laughs> um, wait, that's interesting. Does that mean that they are both his parents or it's like a different, different world, like a different universe? <gasps> that's such an interesting thought. Okay, where am I anyway? <laughs> I wanted to explore as much as possible. So I didn't miss out on anything. Oh, last time I came to the great creature, I was trying to see my one. Okay. I'm not gonna read it again. Uh ooh. Putting like a Pokemon. That's so weird. I hope we don't do that. We don't see that thing. Oh no! No! I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I hope you don't mind that I'm not reading anymore. I just cannot catch up with what they're saying and I feel like it sounds more annoying if I just go quiet and just let everyone else read it for themselves because I can't read that fast. Oh no. Oh no. Oh that's what happened to Bostiff. That's why Bostiff was so bad. Oh. Then I really hope we get to see it. What do you mean? Nimona, you are crazy. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything else in here that I need to... Whoa. Let's, let's get out of here. Don't really want to get uh, attacked by anything right now. Let's try and get to the next research place. Where would it be? Oh my gosh, where are we? I've like gone on a massive big detour. There wasn't really anything over here. I just wanted to make sure that there wasn't. Um, I mean, there's a Pokeball here. Maybe this was the actual way you're supposed to go, but I thought I went on like a detour. Oh. I keep thinking I keep seeing little sparkles on the ground I can pick up, but they never they never are. They're just little things that keep flying from the sky. Oh, what's what about over here? This feels like there'd be something special over here, right? I don't know, maybe I'm just making more work for myself, making more effort for myself, but Oh Aha. Just feels like this place over here, like there's no reason to go to it. Except to get this. Flame charge, okay. Please let me out. There we go. <laughs> okay. Um, and wait, can I get hurt by, like, f if I fall down there? With, like, oh my gosh, we're in the walls. He's in the walls. Oh no. Uh, and I don't know where the next research station is either. Would there be one nearby? Or am I, wait. Oh no, I'm okay. I, th I thought the um this was gonna be a cliff then and I was gonna get stuck. Uh, ooh, what's that? It's like a, like a little rock slide. 
Wait, what is up there? I wish I could get up there. Where's Croden? Oh, there's a Lycan Rock. There is a new Pokemon. Um. Hey, I, now I don't have you yet, so I'm gonna bam. Because I didn't know you were a thing. <laughs> let's let's catch you in a quick ball. But that's so cool. I wish I, I really wish I could get Croden out right now because I could climb that thing. Garnacle. Garnacle? Garnacle. <laughs> oh. Oh, is anyone gonna level up? No. Right. Uh, Garnacle will rub its fingertips together. Ew. And sp sprinkle injured Pokemon with salt. Even severe wounds will probably heal afterwards. That's so cute. Wait. Aww. That's adorable. So many like big Pokemon have such scary like things about them. But that was so cute. That's such a cute little thing. I like that. I like that Pokemon. I like it more now. I know that. It sounds very friendly. It sounds very nice. It sounds sweet. Okay. Uh, even though it's salty. Haha. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's- oh. Yeah, this is another one. Oh, there's gonna be another Pokemon outside that we're gonna have to fight, isn't there? The second research station. About time too. Let's let's head inside and take a breather. I thought you'd have a bit more stamina, student council girl. <laughs> I'm just full of surprises. That wasn't a compliment, you know. Is there gonna be oh she's seen something. What what is that? Hey look, a jigglypuff. It's good to see some nice familiar Pokemon down here too. That doesn't look like a jigglypuff. <laughs> Well, I mean, I guess it does, but it doesn't... Like, but it's different, obviously. Oh my gosh, so cute! I don't know... I don't trust it! It's gonna scream at us. Yeah, oh my god! Wow, wow! I was so right. <laughs> what the? I was so right. Jelly, it's battle time! <gasps> You're gonna have one of your Eevees, which one are you gonna have? <gasps> Umbreon, okay. Does that mean it'll be weak to- Scream tail? Is that because it screamed at us and it has a tail? Oh, you're not as helpful as um, Nimona was. <laughs> oh, that didn't do very much at all. I just realised, does it not have a level- Oh, it does have a level, oh my gosh. It doesn't have a gender. Oh, interesting. Uh, 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 Firefang? Oh wow. Oh no. Yeah, wow, this one is, um, quite tough. A lot more tough than the other one was. Level ups? Oh, okay. Seriously, what was that? Darn thing scared me half to death. It was definitely kind of ferocious for a Jigglypuff, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside already. One more jump scare like that and I'm done for. All right, let's go inside. Will Professor Sada have anything to say to us? Well, this looks pretty much the same as the first research station. Seems like wild Pokemon don't come in here. We should be safe to catch our breath. Hey, seriously, what's with this place? That Pokemon? I've been wondering about that myself. I think that maybe that Pokemon was one of these? Huh? What's that book? Monsters of Area Zero. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of Pokemon, of mysterious Pokemon. Though we wondered if these huge, ferocious beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our team suffered a brutal blow from from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. 
A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I notice a passing resemblance to the Pokemon in his Dom fan, that's what I was going to say. Yet differences such as its sheer size and the shape of its back sets it apart. As do its great tusks. Monsters of Area Zero? So they aren't actually Pokemon? I don't really know. What makes it not a Pokemon, you know? What do you think, Jelly? Like, we can't catch it in a Pokeball? Um... I don't think they're regular Pokemon. I don't think they're regular Pokemon, but I do think they are Pokemon. I think they really are just Pokemon. But yeah, same. I mean, they look different, sure, but they use moves in battle just like the Pokemon we know. I suppose the time has come for an explanation. Yes, please. Tell me. Professor! Wait, is she here? Oh, never mind. I thought I thought they turned around as if like she was right behind us. Some of the life forms that you see residing now within Area Zero are ancient Pokemon that lived in the distant past, long lost to us. <gasps> in the past! Ancient Pokemon? What? That's awesome! Oh, come on. There's no way that's possible. The Zero Lab where I'm located contains a time machine. <gasps> it summons the ancient Pokemon to this place. Whoa. So the thing... My mum spent forever researching down here. She actually got it working? Indeed. Though the cost was catastrophic. The cost? But a time machine? You mean you can actually travel to and from the past? It is theoretically possible to travel to the past. However, for a being such as a human, it would be not be possible to return back to the present. Well, that's horrifying. Mum, you... Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Arvin, I... If possible, I would like us to speak when we can meet face to face. It'll be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. Now then, Jelly. Please use the central panel here and disable another lock on my, to my lab. Okay, can do. So, a time machine. That's so... Weird? Alright, uh, well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Hey, Jelly. You know that book she told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place. Or more like, everything to do with this place. But I'm not the one she expects to fix whatever all this is. You are. I think you should be the one to carry it. <gasps> me? Can I read it? Can I read it? <laughs> Take care of it for me, okay, Jelly? Let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Can I read this thing myself? It's in the key items, right? <gasps> Scarlet, look. I can't. Flipping through it, you can see the illustrations and notes from long ago explorer in Area Zero. That's it, okay. <laughs> that was boring. Let's go to bed quickly and heal our Pokemon up. And then we will leave and go to the next place. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be more talking. Are you guys going to start talking? No? Okay. <gasps> yeah, they are. <gasps> Were your parents like, oh, normal? Oh, phone company. He's famous. Oh my gosh. Pampered little princess from a rich family. Oh my god. <gasps> oh. <gasps> She's got a sister. Oh, I need to know what her sister looks like. Mother and father. <laughs> oh. Penny's family? Oh, unbelievably annoying. Okay. Super protective. Loud and clingy. <gasps> Pen Pen! No, Penny! He sounds like he loves you. That's so mean. My mom is great. <laughs> Amazing looking sandwich. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, I am gonna figure out what the heck this thing is. Hi! Bam. <laughs> A fairy giraffe. Let's just uh, try and catch me a Pokeball. Look at the giraffe rig, they're so cute. Yes! Great. Look at the waterfalls, they're pretty. Mm. 
long neck Pokemon. Now that the brain waves from the head and tail are synced up, the psychic power of this Pokemon is 10 times stronger than Giraffe Rigs. <gasps> wow. That's so cool. They've synced up. I didn't notice it didn't have tail. That's interesting. Obviously, like, it's on its head now, but, like, <laughs> I didn't notice it just didn't have a head. I mean, no, it didn't have a tail. <laughs> Alright, where is the next research station? I feel like I've missed one. I better not have done. Oh, look at that. Okay. Because this is the bottom. Is there another one I've missed? Have I gone... Surely not, right? But I can't see the next one and I'm worried. What is that over there? Oh, it's the tree. Um, What is that? Oh, what is that? What are you? I don't recognise you. Masqu Masquerain? Masquerain? Don't know, I've, I've never heard of you before. What are you the evolution of? I'm guessing you're an evolution. Yes! You're a Surska evolution? Would never guess that. <laughs> Eyeball Pokemon. It flaps its four wings to hover and fly freely, blah, 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 fly freely in any direction, to and fro and sideways. Cool. Well, that's interesting. I would have never guessed you were a Surskit evolution. Oh, I've never seen a Surskit. Oops. Love to find one. Um, but for now, let's. <gasps> something down there. Oh my gosh, Penny, you scared me. Where did you come from? Let's grab that one. Aerial is cool. Right, and then. Where would the next um, research place be? Oh my gosh. It, is it in here? I, I can only assume there's something in here. Okay, let's just... Uh, <gasps> okay, there's one over there. That's that's what we had to next. Grab that one. There's going to be a big scary Pokemon. Okay, this would be the third one, so hopefully there's a fourth one somewhere down here. I can only hope. I just feel like I've I feel like I've missed one. Okay, please let me go through you. Thank you. Another one. Um Oh <gasps> We're gonna fight with Arvin this time. Alright, another research station. Nice, we get to chill for a minute. Something's gonna jump out, I guess, again. 100% guaranteed. <laughs> oh, Penny, such a worry ward. Hmm? <gasps> uh oh. Look at, <laughs> look at her face! She's so happy to see it. She's like, aw. Wait a sec, this is just like the Titan Pokemon we saw. That's what I was gonna say. So it was an ancient Pokemon all along. Whoa, you've battled one of these before, Arvin? You're like seriously strong. Yeah, well, Jelly and I are, are old pros when it comes to Titans. Leave this to us. Okay. Um. I should get out um, Vaporeon. Most definitely. Um. Okay, let's get Vaporeon out. Oh wait, there's a big old dark cave down there as well. Maybe I'm supposed to go even further down. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh, my boss stiff, my goodness. Alright, um Let's do a hydro pump. Oh, <laughs> just give us a little bop. Wow, my boss is doing great. There you go. 
That was easier than the last one. <laughs> Oh, see that victory's ours. Maybe the one we saw when we were searching out the the Mystica came from down here. You two got to meet one of those Pokemon before a cre to get together. Jealous. Uh, if we got things from the sort of ancient times roaming around Paldia, that's a major problem. Is that Professor started doing anything to keep them under control? How could she let this happen? Yeah, right. Because it's not like. Oh, so brilliant, Professor Sada ever messes up. Come on, Jelly, let's get to that research station. Alright. Um, before we do go in there, I think on this one here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!